as I explained, I am a fashion designer. I'm working in, in fashion since 30 years. I want to just, you know, tell you shortly, uh, I start my experience in one of the most uh, creative areas in Italy, northeast of Italy, that is Veneto region. Veneto region is very rich because many companies in Denim are born and grow there. Just an example, Diesel or Replay or even Benetton, Stefanel, so many, many brands. I grow with this. A, uh, you know, this is our point of view, and of course, I'm starting from my big experience. But what is the most important thing is the sparkle, is the origin. That's in any way is the creativity, is the human. Because what has happened, especially during last year, and we are seeing the technology is, you know, expressing. But the technology without the human creativity, without our mind, is nothing. So for us, I'm really supporting the creativity. And all the images that we are seeing today, we create. There is nothing that is coming from internet or uh, social. Because we think that in this moment especially, there is a lot of netness in the market because all this you know, sharing of ideas is beautiful but we are losing our identity sometimes because everybody is copying each other, copy and paste. So I really want to underline that the power to create our and own identity is to work by your own. So that's why we decide today to take picture and photo shooting for all the garments that I'm going to show later to present the project. So just, you know, few words. Since we are born, we experience, we touch, we smell, we, we taste the things, and this is the sparkle. So everyday experience is very important. Everything that you see and the surrounding can give you inspiration. So, eyes on the world. Sharing experience means searching in a cultural diversity, and in diversity generally, the sparkle and the, you know, inspiration. Here we have some, you know, some ideas. We like to, uh, as a team, we like to walk uh, in the city, to search, to do a fair, share experience with people, go to the fair, talk. The diversity, open-minded people. Second thing is, first thing is, open eyes, but also know the power of your hands. So, knowledge and uh, creativity, but also the power of experience. So the power of experience means that you know the material, you know to better express the material. This base, together with the, with the technology, can create a unique identity. And of course, nature, as you know, we already uh, underlined the first important thing, sustainability. Sustainability is a very important word that means everything. You know, in this moment, sometimes it's a tool, it's also you know, a marketing tool. But sustainability is a sum of a little action together. 
So we can do sustainability everything you do in every day. But for us, the base is nature. So nature is our destination also. We need to take care of the environment. Today, I, we present six different experiences just to show in a different way all these experiences are you know, giving something to you. The first one we call craftsmanship. This is nice because it's really related with the, you know, the investing and investigate about you know, the uh, ancient technique. This is the Shibori. And this is a project that we have done together with a big company, that is Chalik. And we created this project, huge project called Shibori. And I went to a little city in the middle of Japan uh, called Arimatsu to know how they do their uh, Shibori. And this is very ancient technique and it's very interesting because, okay, you see the, how they express, but you don't know how long it takes to do it. So I went there, I talked with the people, I have a look, and I was inspired. But first, you have to know, because it's very difficult to express something that you don't know. Then we try, and we want to create from their experience our own identity. So we try, we create our own design. I also try to dye indigo by my, with my hand, just to, you know, create a different story because, of course, they, they have you know, their own design. We want to create something more updated, more modern. So we get a kind of you know, new design. And then, after we create this you know, prototype sample, we apply the technology. So now is the time for the technology. But first, we create all the stories. So technology, we apply. Then I have some examples to show about this fabric. We use this, this idea and we create by printing, a special printing, or by laser, we create a kind of, let's say, industrial process because we want to produce the fabric in big amount. So this is very important to start with the idea and then to create this and use the technology. At the end, we also apply this idea in a more modern way. So we want to create a kind of bespoke tailor look using ancient technique. So this is the result, very beautiful. So we create a formal jacket, chinos, and dress, and we present it during the fair. So this was the goal. But this is the process that I... And just a summary, starting from the idea, that try by your own, that's why I call experimenting. We have to try. And then the final goal. Second experience, uh, artwork. Uh, this is uh, another point of view on the recycle thing. Uh, there is a lot of talk about recycled yarn and recycled fiber, but we apply our own idea to the artwork. So we create a kind of uh, art upcycle. So we decide to use some of the old garments we have in our archive, some nice Levi's or other pair of jeans, to create a kind of artwork pieces. If you know now in the market, there are very interesting brands they are growing. For example, Atelier Repair in Los Angeles. They are bringing old garment and they are giving new life. Or for example, my Andrea Rosso is also creating interesting story because it's bringing military pieces and putting in the new story. So we also decide to do something like that. We bring these pieces. And you can see a video.
Okay, so the idea was to bring something old and give a new life, but a good taste. So we have two, uh, two samples to show here with the two girls. Maybe you can go there, over there, and then show. And this is interesting because it's another point of view. And then you can create your own story. And you have to search, of course, this is, you know, uh, a sparkle. Again, so these two garments, as example, we uh, create a photo shooting. And these two artists, they are very famous artists that we call in our atelier to create this experience. And at the end, we have a kind of art pieces. Of course, this is high level, but we can create also a kind of industrialization later, but based on old garment. So new life to old garment. And here you have some of the garment that we finalized. Okay. Next experience about, we call eco-fading. Uh, in the cutwell is very popular nowadays, discharging the garment, and uh, make a bleaching, and then over dyeing. If you see the last cutwell, everybody maybe is looking at the cutwork. And this is very aggressive, by the way, because you know, to make uh, acid wash, there are different ways to do it. Uh, really, we think that this can be done in a very ecological way. There is a lot of chemical, and the chemical company can help us also by using lasers, so chemical plus. We have to be careful in the chemical we use. Of course, we want to create alternative image, because in, uh, especially in the cattle, there is an image that is very 80s. So they, from my point of view, there's nothing new in that. So bringing some old garment from the 80s and update it. So, again, we have to search a different way for make echo fading and over dye. So we have also some garment here that later I can show you. And I can show garment. Okay, so here's the first part is the uh, bleaching area. Uh, instead of create an all over bleaching, we decide to create a special wrinkle on the garment and then screen printing. And this is the one that you are looking as the number three. And a second one is a skirt. It is very artistic, again, related with the artwork. We spray with the chemical, the skirt, number four, just to create you know, different images. So very impressive, very strong, but beautiful. And this is go out of regular image that are now uh, in the market. And also very interesting is the number six, because we create this kind of acid wash by laser, and then we clean out with ozone. That means 100%, or let's say, ecological, as much as we can. Because I don't trust that now we are, with our technology, we arrive to reach the level, the level that we want for sustainability. So we have to work more. And then the second part is, Bleaching and then over dyeing. Again, from the, the same image uh, of bleaching, we over dye. So these two create different images, different from Haiti's, because we want to add something new. And especially the number six, we recycled old garment. So we cut, we use very old garment, and we mix with some stripes and checks, and we give also a new light. Another experience, uh, terrestrial, uh, this is related with earth and with the color. Even the pigment that we use in this group is really uh, muddy, and this is more, let's say, for some reason, is more commercial. And of course, inspiration is coming from earth, for all the color of earth, even the pigment. And matching is the key. So create something with a good taste, there is a selection, even in the garment, of the color. And even the texture together need to be, you know, with a certain taste. Um, here, for example, we use some uh, old garment, uh, old fabric, to create uh, a full garment that is recycled. And also the chino that you are seeing here. 
especially if you go by number. The number three, this is updated chino. We call it updated chino because it's a very traditional garment, and we want to give you know, a kind of new image. We, so we can play with washing. Washing, of course, is a big uh, power we have in our hands to change the face of the garment. With one fabric, you can create thousands of images. And even for the shirting, we start from white fabric, and by spray, we, cre we create a kind of new camouflage. Again, here in the number four, we mix uh, corduroy plus three by one uh, ready for dye. We over dye and we create a texture. So with the one fab with two fabric, you can create too many color. This is some more image about the updated chino. So this is very interesting area. You can create all you know. Uh, tone sur tone color or tonal jeans, but beautiful, beautiful image and over dye with a kind of pigment to create a terrestrial look. And then I want to remark, build your personal brand. This is really, you know, I'm joking about that, but I'm, I'm really against this, you know, flatness that are, you know, giving, uh, bringing from, you know, all the, uh, social media nowadays. And another experience I call Blue Teller because it's like a storyteller. We are people here that really love indigo. We have a like kind of indigo blood. And so, Blue Teller. And the big inspiration here is coming. We love Japan. And too many pictures, too many, let's say, research is coming from there. And even this picture, many of these, and the surface of the things like the ceramic, the wood, these are, let's say, all this inspiration can be put in your project. And we have here some interesting things that we can see later. And even, you know, we create a t-shirt. This is an indigo t-shirt. To create something that is different from regular stripes, we paint it by hand. And then we are able to reproduce this idea in a more industrial way. But the first thing is by, done by hand. And then we have also a pant, a jeans, that we discharge and over dye. And also, uh, again, another collaboration with Chalik Dani. Here you can see more in detail. Do we have too many shades of indigo? This, for example, we work together with the laundry in Italy. This is very creative laundry, it's Ita Club. And we create some special projects for their clients. And we use, of course, we use a lot of laser. We, I'm personally working with laser since more than 20 years. I think I'm one of the first crazy lady that is working, crazy person that uh, work with the laser since it was built. It. And here also you can see too many fabrics matching together. This uh, number two is very interesting because we mix together velvet plus denim and leather. And this was interesting because we are able to over dye all this garment. So we start from white leather and we over dye with blue and then we laser it. Uh, we, have, uh, we have done a kind of collaboration with a dye company to find uh, a dyeing uh, stuff that can be work together, acid and direct color. So, but you know also this. And also the number five, now tonal jeans is very powerful, matching together different color of indigo. Okay, we want to add more things. In fact, we create a kind of patchwork and then with different color and then we put it together. Number seven, also we have a kind of tie-dye. This is so beautiful. And because it's very natural. So another thing is you create your image by hand and then you apply in with industrial look. This, for example, is very interesting, is that we call contemporary kimono. We mix together different texture, different indigo shades, and different weight. This is nice because you create a kind of discromy and this tonic story on the, on the garment. It's beautiful and you can see, yeah. A 
and this is the garment that you can see, very beautiful. And then on these different indigo shades, we apply an irregular uh, irregular, uh, washing by ozone and laser. So beautiful again. This is the technology we are normally using. So we try to not use chemical. And I think we are able to do it also to reach very beautiful image. So this is, again, a kind of slogan. Capitalize your identity. Once you create your thing, you are able to have special things only for you. And then the last experience, uh, we call furry look. Again, this is very, let's say, very powerful nowadays in casual because, you know, many uh, big uh, or luxury brands ban the fur. So there is a very interesting alternative offer about fur. And we answer with denim uh, to this request. Important thing is to don't destroy completely the garment to create a furry look. So at the end, the garment needs to be resistant. Otherwise, just a beautiful image. That's why we find a different way. So outdoor inspiration, like this cord, or even heavy stitching that you can embrace later. And fake fur. So use of drill, again, use of laser to create a kind of drill. And control and destroy. Important thing is don't destroy completely the garment. And we have some beautiful examples here. They are not only denim, but we have also some jersey and some uh, black denim. And also we create a skirt that we apply uh, extra fabric. And then after uh, with washing, we create the furry look. In the number six, beautiful, we have the sample here. Also this one, thanks. And very nice also the number three. This is a jersey. This was a double construction jersey. We destroyed the first part by laser. And so uh, we are able to control it because the laser can be controlled in a very nice way. And we, can cre- we create a kind of, let's say, alternative look, a kind of astrakhan look. Very beautiful. And this is apply on very uh, contemporary uh, style, very short, a crop top. And beautiful also, the piece number two, that is a, a denim, as, by the way, it's a black denim, that we can create a drill, and with two different surfaces. So we create a kind of check with texture. And this is the crop bomber I thought. So Astrakhan for effect all over laser mark. This is nice. Because we use also the idea, the important thing is you have also to know which kind of fabric or create your own fabric for the final destination. Because sometimes some fabric are not existing yet. So you have to work also with the final image you want to reach. Okay, a video to close. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you so much. And if you have any questions, also the garments are here at disposal if you want to touch it. Then. And if you have any question, I'm here at disposal. Can I have the questions, please? I was enough exhausted, people. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm here for the two days for the fair. And if you have, you know, if you want more explanation or I'm here around, just, you know, just stop me and I'll, it will be a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you again. Uh, we will be displaying the garments on the stage, so if anybody wants to have a look, they can come. And we are also calling our models for the 3D garments, you can have a look there too. I would also like to mention our next presentation by Mr. Sandeep Agarwal on the future of denim sourcing is online at 6 p.m. So uh, we will meet you at 6 p.m. Thank you. And after that also we are having a gala dinner with uh, us. So please be, uh, we will await your presence. Thank you. with preserve the area with raisin. I, I get this. Uh, I'm asking about the construction of the building. No, no. Uh, yeah, we made that. No, but this is a loose field. It's a loose field. Yeah, no. no as you, see, you see from the picture, it was perfect. Perfect picture. Yeah. You have to find the right balance. So, you know, this is a, 
this is about trying. This is something that you have to try. Otherwise, you know, it's not something that happens like that. So. Yeah. But this is what, uh, this is perfect. Perfect. Okay, first we work with the base, with the star wash base, and then uh, we press, we bring the press like that, out of the press. When the garment was pressed like that, we scrape it. Should the beginning or the work? Uh, discharging, discharging, yes, but this is a kind of chemical discharge. But first, you have to be in the pressure like that. You press, and then, so this is interesting because you can create an image like that, press, and then print. So the screen printing is interesting because it, in, in that end, it's not used enough in my opinion. First, yeah, it was a crazy. We use a kind of starch. For making the wrinkle, we use a kind of uh, starch to make a wrinkle resistant and then we scream wrinkle. Because this is another, because we don't want the rays to stay on the garment, otherwise it's more, you know, not stop. yeah. So I'll use a, a kind of starch, it's a good idea because at the end when you wash, it disappears. This is also about washing. I used to be a consultant for long, for many, many years, that's why I learned a lot. And using the hands, at the end of the day, this is the most important thing. The hands and hands. Yeah. Yeah. You like it, this is spray. We spray on the garden, on the fabric, yeah.
Sen de kalma. Hello? Cut it, yeah.